so guys let's make this kimono dress shall we <laughs> so to make this kimono i used three meters of fabric and i folded my fabric into four and you're going to be folding with the length of your sleeve for my sleeve i chose 25 inches okay now you fold the 25 inches into four now the next first thing i'm doing is to mark my neck width and i'm going with three and a half inches and my neck depth for the back is one and a half okay three and a half inches for my neck width and my neck depth is one and a half inches and please guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel i love you guys so much now when you cover out your neckline for the front i'm doing about eight inches now from the eight inches i marked i'll go in by half an inch okay just watch closely at what i'm doing here now you connect a straight line from your shoulder to the eight inches half inch we marked if you understand now use your curve ruler and curl from your eight inches into the center front just do exactly what i'm doing <laughs> So after doing this, the next thing I'm going to do is to mark in my shoulder slope. For my shoulder slope, I'm using one and a half inches. Just mark one and a half inches and connect that to your neck width. Now the next thing we're going to do is to mark your boss points plus about an inch or two. It depends. Now for the width, I'm going with quarter of my highest measurement which is my hip and i added about eight inches to that quarter of my hip measurement which is my highest and then i added about eight inches to that eight to nine inches it depends on how big you want your kimono to be and that particular measurement is what you're taking to the hem of the kimono so we are basically creating like a straight line from the boss point down to the hem of the kimono okay like i said guys please subscribe to my channel if you haven't i plead i've not even gotten up to 1k subscribers guys please 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 and i promise to be consistent i've not been really consistent lately because i've been quite busy but i'm gonna try and be consistent this year please subscribe to my channel and get your girl to 1k i would really appreciate thank you now the next thing i'm doing is to mark the neck width that i want and here i went in with 10 inches because one inch is gonna sew in the shoulder and the side seam so i marked 10 inches and from there i connected it with the curve to the straight line that i've been marking earlier just exactly what i'm doing here i know my fabric my chalk is not really like that bright that's why i'm trying to be so so explanatory so you understand so the next thing we're gonna do is just cut it out now here i'm just cutting out my side so after cutting the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out my neckline for the back and also cut out my shoulder slope after which i'll make a notch so i would know where my center back is make a notch here then take out the inner piece which is going to serve as my back and then the front piece i'll fold it again into two properly like i'll just arrange it properly and slash open the center front and also cut out my front neckline what i'm trying to do here is just slash open the center front okay So I just opened up my back piece and now I'll place my front piece on it, right side facing each other so I can close the shoulders. Now close off your shoulders and go ahead to hem your sleeve. Now after doing that, I'll place my fabric right side to face each other and close the both sides down. Now I'm done closing it, just knot your armhole area to help relax it and now the next thing we're going to do is to measure out a strap which the width of the strap i'm using is five inches and the length will be be round the neckline okay 
so when you make this strap of five inches you fold it into two so we have two and a half inches at the end of the day so now we are going to attach it to the neckline okay now this is what i'm doing i'm t starting from one end i'm starting from my center back like the midpoint of my center back just pin it down and sew this all the way around okay so i'll just take this to my sewing machine and get this done this is this is a lot of work but i mean anything for you guys anything at all so this is the end of my job well done after a while i went ahead to do a top stitch what this does is to help my collar relax properly you can go ahead to overlock all your seams to keep it neat on the inside fold your hem and yes we are done with this kimono let me show you guys the final result and this is our amazing kimono guys and i also made a matching shot if you want to see how i make a shot let me know in the comment section down below bye